All right, so let's do the basics of today's meat. Uh, this won't take long. Uh, the basics are pretty basic. Uh, first thing you need to know is how to get your uh, chat room out to your students. Uh, the way to do that is real simple. Um, the name of your room is going to be the end of the link. So you'll send your students to todaysmeet.com slash and then whatever the name of your room is. I just kept mine short, TTV for teacher tech videos. Um, you can name it Mr. J's class, you can name it first period, second period, um, but whatever the class name is, they just put it at the end of that link. Uh, there's another shortened link, another way to do it. If you take this and you copy it, you can send that out to students as well. It's a shortened version of this link, although if you keep this one short enough, um, I find that that's pretty easy for students to follow. Alright, so how do they get started? Now that they're here, all they're going to do is put in their name and click join. That will immediately bring up their message box to chat with. Um, as you type, I do want to show you, you see I've been uh, messing around already on the left side, um, but there is a countdown. You can see here that this 140 uh, counts down. That, what that does is that limits the amount of characters your students can use to 140, um, which I find to be a good feature. Um, students are going to be forced to be more concise, uh, to organize their thoughts a little bit better, and frankly, uh, not many of them write long paragraphs in here anyway. And so it's a good feature to kind of keep things streamlined. The one thing I do not like about teacher uh, today's meet is that I can't just hit enter uh, when I'm done typing. You've got to click the save button. Alright, so that's been submitted. It should pop up here in a second. While we wait, I want to show you another cool feature. Um, and that is this transcript. Let's say you've got a really good discussion going and you want to keep a, a log of what they've been talking about. If you click on this uh, transcript link, it will take you to a separate web page with all of the comments. Now, once you are here, uh, it's real simple. All you got to do is right click and hit print. You can do that. You can also select the chat and you can copy and paste it into Word. Um, that's totally up to you, but if you do right click and save it, it saves it as an HTML file, so it keeps the formatting. Uh, you can see I've already saved one here. I'll go ahead and save this one, overwrite it, and just give you an idea of what that looks like. So here's what I just saved, that HTML file. When I open it up, it comes up just like this. You can open it up in Word um, and print it, and you can save it uh, just like that. All right, let me go back. I want to show you one more thing. Uh, there's a mode here. Uh, projector mode. In projector mode what it does is it takes that same view and it shows all the comments as they stream down. And so if you're doing a presentation where you want the students to be able to uh, do a presentation and still see the comments that are happening at the very same time as the movie or the presentation that's going on, it's a really good way to bring the back channel and kind of put it on display so that you can stop during a presentation and address questions that they have in the chat room or address concerns or address really anything that's going on in the chat room while the presentation is being done. It's not the easiest way to present, um, but it is a different way to do it and it's a good way to get the students thinking and involved with the presentation. Alright, so that's the basics. Uh, the chat room, sending it out to students and uh, having them get in there and saving a transcript if you need. In the next video, Beyond the Basics, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Twitter, how to um, manage today's meet with Twitter and kind of link it up if you are inclined to do so. And I'll teach you a little bit about how to keep track of their blog to see what kind of changes they make to this really cool program. Alright, see you then. Mm -hmm.